Sinjar. We'll talk to Celia first. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Um. He said he'll go out on okay. a date with you. But how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia? I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. Well, if you've got your chance, have fun. Don't overthink it. Oh, I will. Now I've just got to figure out which jumpsuit I'm wearing and how I'm fixing my hair. Or maybe I should go with a casual look. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back-to-work look. Yep. Anyhow, thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Speaking of which, Mr. Nandi. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That's not why I'm that here, but okay. you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Yeah. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. I feel like your schedule is already clear. No, you, ha you have a meeting Did with me. you hear that power play, Celia? They don't make them like this anymore in Halcyon. I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. Now, what business brings you here? Um, I'm looking Hiram? for the information. Yeah. Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. Well. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. No. <laughs> Science project passed off his food. I'm going to stab someone. Yes, that's it. Channel your anger. I only wish I could do the same. <laughs> Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Probably not. Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. Hmm. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Ouch. Um, yeah, if you're free of the other corporations, why'd you want Because he's them scared back? to go it alone. You need the board to hold your hand and tell you everything's going to be okay. Ain't that right? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Oh, probably not. Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for 10 years now. now we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off the books nature of those transactions such arrangements are precarious yeah that tends to happen um so your trade is scrounging and scraping by yes pretty freedom much. is a tempting ideal but a rather costly paramour can't is imagine he... why you'd sneer at the notion of a free colony could it be because you're an agent of the establishment okay i hush, used hush. to be young and idealistic too but you can't run a city on high-minded ideals. All right. So what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Are you out of your mind? You can't just go crawling back to your old masters. Thank you, Felix. But we can't continue to subsist like this either. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Boy... You people. What's the plan? It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Um. Oh, we didn't take it to Not figure long, that out. But the devil is always in the details. Jeez. And the salient detail here is a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And All you'll right. have a powerful ally on the board. So what is Bolt 52? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. I see. I was starting to get bored listening to you until you said the phrase extremely powerful ordinance. <laughs> Shut up, it Felix. It is quite the rush. All right. Ordinance or ordinate? An ordinance, of course. 
We do things in a civilized fashion here, not like Graham's iconoclasts. There's nothing the board likes so much as paperwork. Yep, not surprised. What's the other part I'll of your plan? I need to gather some this. supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You All do right. tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will Thank be in the old you. arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. Ah. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. That's fine. All right. Saying what? Which way? Yeah. Thinking That's just arms. what it's called. It's supposed to stand for something, but I forget what. Sure, I'll know when oh, I find it. Okay. Added, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I don't know what the information is. Sure. Right. What can I do for you? Isaac Rose is dead. I found the people what? who killed him. That's terrible. What happened? Um, it was Elijah I'm in the town. Glad to hear you've dealt with them. They've been causing quite a bit of trouble around town. I've been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, me. sure. Of course, you, if you say so. It really was on my to-do list. I don't think so. But... Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Yep. All right. Yeah, I met Grim. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. Good. What else can I do for you? Um, I gotta go. That was pretty much it. Uh, where, oh, where is good old Adam boy? Sounds like rat oh, it Yeah. Does work. Oh, Adam boy is just floating around here somewhere. Let's forget where. Not over here. Like he's like, I feel like he wasn't far. There he is. So here's the thing about Tossball. Tossball is. Hey. You look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Oh, would I want any of that? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. I Mr. Pickett. see. Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? That's him. He'd been here years, but he always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. You know, do you know who he's talking about? Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. As my dad told it, Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a Manta Queen for the last display. He left the veil, gosh, years ago. He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. And got okay. up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta Queens, especially. Oh. Have you seen a Manta Queen? Sure. They're real big. Hard to miss them. Well, yeah, I know. Where have you seen a Manta Queen? Well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett. But I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Yep. Captain, can we look for him? I'd feel awful if somebody from home was in trouble and we didn't do nothing. Sure, we'll go look for Tell him. you what. I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? Fair deal. All right. I suppose I ought to. Thanks, Captain. Yep. All right, then. Leave town through the southern gate, the one right here, and head past the abandoned ruins. All right. Last mana queen I saw was in the wilds out that -a ways Could be Mr. Pickett's still out there, too. All right, will do. All right. So, oh, I haven't finished the Grim tomorrow yet. Oh, that's why. All right. Yeah, that's a future problem. Uh, we'll head out here. We're getting close to getting a lot of these quests done already. Too. How far out do I have to go to? Far. Yeah, we can go, like, right here. Burbage. Yeah, Mr. Pickett? Oh, this wasn't... I don't think this is the body I found accidentally. Oh, I think that was a different body. I hope it's a different body. 
Because I don't think I came out here to kill a Manticore. Or a Manticween, I don't think. This is not looking good. Incoming! Oh! found him he's uh not in a good shape i guess so uh yeah let's run that back then oh also that is the other thing about toss ball toss ball you look like a woman who's looking for some most oh shit so i found his journal he'll probably be wanting it back you see any sign of him i didn't said I had a dead manticore. Funny place to leave a journal. But what about Mr. Pickett? <laughs> Who knows where the looks of it? Guys, real escape artist. of the universe, I guess. Holy crap! Not funny, Captain. Uh, so this journal is all he left behind. Seems like I ought to read it. Looks mighty long, though. Yeah, Mr. Pickett's biggest game. Yeah, maybe you and Celia can read it together on your date. I bet she'll like that. She's real enthusiastic about all sorts of monsters. Oh, I feel so bad for this girl. For to be some good come out of this. In any case, I appreciate you tracking down Mr. Pickett for me. Here's some bits for your trouble. Yeah, not a problem. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I'm like, I told her to go on a date with this guy. And here we are. All right. Oh, stuck. I'm stuck. Don't stack, we're good. Oh, you're just a worker. Ooh. Hey, Velma, I got your cappanoid pills. I need to talk to you about something, too, right? You're a lifesaver. Hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Uh. Uh. You know what? Did she now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. That's First, fine. my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Um, look, I'm just here to ask about Grim's this poster. Again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grim his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? Yeah, all right. Didn't he pay you for it? No, I paid Sublight for it. So, it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Ah. Alright. Fine by me. Yep, goodbye. Alright, now... We could go talk to Nell about this. That was a little two-faced. I mean, can't blame her, honestly. If it isn't the famous hacker enjoying Stellar Bay, what oh, can I, I do for you? Oh, I forgot about that. Um, Velma tells me y'all bid Grim for a signed Tossball poster. Signed by the Black Hole himself. There's no way I could pass that up. Why, did you want to see it? I don't have it yet. I'm waiting on a few customers to pay up before I can give Velma the bits. Hmm. I think it's really brave of you to help it Sandra's best friend. You mean dopey landing pad Grim? I didn't know he and Mr. Nandi were friends. I guess that changes things. Yeah. Fine. Tell Velma that I don't want the poster anymore. I'll find something else to hang in my shop. Will do. All right. That's all for now. So much back and forth right now. Alright, back to Velma. 
Frederick doesn't have anything as far as I'm aware. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows in salt tuna guts. Uh, you're not that far up. Gosh, this old girl's in a rough way. Even old Bess in Edgewater was in better shape than this. Ouch. Hey, you want to try running a cannery with obsolete machinery? You be my guest. Um, sorry, ma'am. I wasn't trying to be rude. It's just your flanging apparatus isn't making a strong flange, so your sealer isn't sealing right, and... Oh. I see what you're saying. Huh. I'll have to try that. Anyway. Yeah, you're talking what to you folks a need? mechanic. Um... Uh, can we come into an agreement? Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Well, Nell's no longer offering. That's a surprise. Tossball being part of her business and all. Take yeah. the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Sounds good. Something else on your mind? Nope, that's it. Goodbye. Now number four. Oh, we should probably level up too. Um... more in guns. Alright. I like how I'm dumping him all into long guns, even though I'm my primary weapon has lately been a pistol. So eh, whatever. Okay, let's go talk to Grim to give him his the poster. The most convoluted poster ever or mission to get a poster, I feel like. Alright. Some workers, talk to Grim. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Uh, here it is. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. Hey. You know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Okay, well... That's the end of the Grim tomorrow. Alright, so what's left? Um, yeah, let's go do weapons of void. Let's go talk to Duncan. You really lived your whole life in Edgewater? Yeah, so we, have yeah, to we can try to find some other people too, as we're uh, hitting all the various towns. I don't think there's really that many. I mean. Yeah, so like we have to go to Fallbrook for this one, so we'll quickly run there. We have a couple of quests from Yeah, so I don't think Mortimer has a quest. Oh, you do though. Take a gander at that mug. I ain't ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. Yeah, that's fine. Well, that's awfully kind of you, mister. Adept looking, huh? This guy taking a snipe at your looks? Probably. Oh, now, come on. All I mean is, well, rather that, uh, you don't seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium goldblood. Say, I'd what? like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Wink, wink. <sighs> um, did you just say wink at me instead of actually winking? Uh, no, we'll just... Oh, I enjoy a good challenge. I'll get right to it, then. Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our autoloaders with faster, cheaper sprats. <laughs> That's strict for sheer See? brilliance. I know a fellow genius when I clap eyes on him. Oh, yeah, I bet. Too right you are. Only problem is my Sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the hoople heads around these parts. What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? Uh, it depends. What do I get? In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. Uh... I don't like I have anything better Was that do. sarcasm? I'm going to assume it was not... If it's sarcasm, you gotta show it somehow, like, with a wink. No. My Sprat carriers <laughs> carry back and forth through the shipping tunnels. All right. Any trail ought to start there. When you've got the goods, I'll be here. All right, will do. All right. 
now we're just looking for a couple more people. Yeah, so like, I don't think Emmett has a quest. No, I'm just in here. That's a thug. Employee. That's closed. Employee, employee. That door can hey, be Jeff. opened. Knock, knock. Go away, white. That's not how the game yeah. works. On there. I say, knock. knock. The outside of a door. No nope, more patrons. Say, I swear to the architect, I will punch your lamps out. Please oh. do. Uh... Hey, Duncan. My dry goods come 75% guaranteed mold free. Or was that 75% mold free? Hmm. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Um. Let's trade. Because you should have some stuff on you. I don't know what it is exactly that I'm looking for, though. Yeah, I'm looking for something. What am I looking for? That you're selling. Oh. Probably these two data pads. Yeah, you know, those things that are probably important. 